hey guys welcome back to the channel daughter of increase my name is Nancy Denise for those of you who are new to the channel or who just happened to stumble across this video and I'm the founder and CEO of daughter of increase ministries that is DOI ministries and here on this channel I help you guys to increase in your faith and relationship with God in Christ through Bible studies book reviews discussions and more and I do that by posting twice a week every Wednesday and Saturday and occasionally on Tuesdays so if you have not done so already don't forget to subscribe to the channel click the bell to stay notified of when I post a new video to like this video and to share this video and as you can tell from my setup finally doing my bookshelf organization video um, you guys know from previous videos I had my bookshelf on the other side of the room by my door and for some reason I felt like swapping everything because my table is right here my desk is right here and then I keep a lot of my journals and Bible studies in here and so I figured I would just move all of my faith-based Christian books here and then keep all of my secular books on that side along with my classics now I kind of sort of have everything set up but I just threw them on the shelves with an idea of how I wanted the organization to go and so I'm, I'm gonna brief you guys right okay so I think each shelf has five rows, right? Two, four, five, yes. So this first shelf is supposed to be where I store um, like newly, new books that I get into like books that I need to haul, hence why these are here because I actually just hauled these books um, for June and July. And then I wanted my resources up here, right? So this is where I wanted to have my resources that I don't have under my desk here um, and any books that I might have to read for school that I cannot keep on my desk. Um, hence why I have Unstuck by, he is actually the president of my school right now, um, Mark Jove. I wanted to read this before school started, probably won't get a chance to, but he wrote this book and I wanted to give it a go. Um, I have some books that I had started, a lot of the Bible studies that I'm doing right now with my mentees and books and stuff that I'm doing with you all. So I keep that up here. Um, let me stick in the back of my shop anywhere. Okay, so that's what this row is, uh, is supposed to be. Um, books to haul, resources, and things that I'm currently in. So like my current reads. Um, this shelf, I wanted it to be my sort of TBR shelf. And so the books that I want to read next after I finish reading the books that I'm currently reading. Underneath here is where I have all of my biblical fiction books. Um, we got some things thrown in there, but like I said, you gotta organize. Um, then under that is my fantasy, and then under that is sort of a overflow of like other nonfiction books that I want to read down the line. Then on this side, I believe I had my historical fictions here. This was supposed to be for my black authors. Um, so like my black Christian authors, uh, I would have here. There's something in the back though. Yeah, and I had some more biblical fictions in the back. Um, and then down here was my sort of, it was supposed to be my suspense contemporary novels, um, really supposed to be suspense novels and then contemporary on the bottom. But the last shelf literally has all of the children's books that I have. And so I had to move those over here. And so that's why everything is kind of like out of whack. And I threw one of my teddy bears in this corner my unicorn um i love unicorns so much unicorns are like my like favorite animal um so yeah unicorns but we just gonna throw it over there where i threw the rest of my stuff at but yeah this all needs to be organized I, I i don't i don't know um so we're just gonna organize i got me the rest of my coffee here a mango soda here this is i believe a japanese brand yes japanese brand um soda love mango soda absolutely delicious and then i have my water here i'm actually going to be listening to um grace for purpose a few of their prayers and devotionals from today um they posted two devotional videos and then a prayer and so i think i'm starting off with a prayer it was supposed to be a morning prayer i totally was in the midst of listening to it got two minutes in had to pause it because i was doing some work and so i just want to listen to that while i'm doing this and if i'm done well i probably will still be cleaning um but originally this is supposed to be a two-part video simply because i have two big shelves and so i'm going to mainly focus on this shelf today i may pick things off of this shelf to move over here because things are not set in stone um i definitely want to keep these shelves the way they are 
and I have most of my fantasies at the bottom so yeah I'm probably gonna keep the shelf the way it is um, and just organize and pull things out anything that needs to go inside of the cabinet will go into the cabinet like I said this cabinet I may show you guys one day because up top I have a lot of like my coloring books and stuff like that so like I have my inspired proverbs coloring book in here i have my handbook for um what is it called animal crossing in here i have like my boxes and stuff of crowns and markers so this first thing is where i keep like my art supplies because i do like to color and draw every now and then i did take um, art in school and so yeah and then i think yeah i have tons like they're just falling out tons of bible studies yep falling out see which I am going to have to go through and organize these anyway because I pretty much just threw things in here. Honestly, if I'm, I'm, if I'm being honest, I just threw all the things in here. Really with no organization in mind. Um, and I think I just messed this up with how I had this closed. Hopefully it don't pop open. If it pop open, whatever. Um, but yeah, I have three drawers, I think. Three? Let me see. No, I have two drawers. So these two cabinets here that you see here are actually Bible studies and then the last um, two cabinets are blank journals and build journals. And so, yeah, I actually have these two journals <laughs> that I want to put in there um, for now. So let's see where I can do that. There's just so much stuff. So much stuff. So we have that going. So I am, like I said, going to focus on this. So I'm going to be taking things down. Um, I'm probably going to open up this table right here. So let me move. I have both my ring lights on right now just because I need to be able to see. Um, I have this ring light over here in front of me, which is actually an RBG light. I'm not sure if the light is going to show. But um, let me turn this light off behind you guys. Turn this down yeah you can see i have an rbg light right here and so it does like rainbow strobing sorry if you guys then it goes to like colors um you know two colors if i wanted it but i have that light on i don't really care for this light i got it up at walmart um obviously it was a steal but it's not really bright the way i like as you can see this is literally the brightest and then this is the lowest i don't really care for it it's not as bright um but this is a good one if you're looking for like a start of light it gives good amount of light but i'm used to my bigger one which is back here which is that's the highest it'll go okay that's the highest setting and i love that light um but i'm using it as a room light because right now my light bulb is not fixed still and so i've been using my ring light um i will be getting another one i did love my zoomy light um more but that one blew out on me <laughs> so I typically get my ring lights off of Amazon if I can find um, a link for the one I currently use, the big one behind you guys. I'll leave it down below. But yeah, so I'm going to open up this table and hope everything doesn't fall. It should. It should. And I'm going to snack on one of these. So these are strawberry tart cookies and they are a Japanese snack if I'm not mistaken. No, the Korean snack. So Korean snack. And these are delicious so good and so i'm just gonna pop i think i had two over here already oh no i ate those <laughs> but they come in the cute little um packaging like this i love these i typically will eat two of them um so i'm gonna take one of those well two of those out and then i also have these these are the earl grey grapefruit cookies um they're labeled as biscuits what they look like and the packaging looks like that um these are good i just don't like the grapefruit because it's almost like um the i think it's pronounced ganache that thing if you eat um what is it called macaroons and you get like the fruit flavored jam ones it tastes like that i don't like that consistency of jam but it's a good cookie um so i only got one of those and i might snack on my onion rings these I don't even know which flavor these are but these are a um i got them from h mart which is like an asian supermarket and so these are an asian brand of onion rings they're delicious though 
but I'm sorry. I got a bunch of like Korean snacks over here, like got crab chips, shrimp chips. Um, I got these koalas, which are similar to the other ones that I had. This one is in strawberry and mango. Um, I have not tried these yet, but I did try the other ones that I do enjoy. But, um, we're just going to keep it basic because I want to just relax while I'm doing this. And the more that I prolong myself, uh, the more that it won't get done. And because school is starting soon, I want to make sure that I am tackling my shelf. So, I'm going to put this in front so that I can stack books here. Like, Cobra Soup needs to actually go on the bookshelf. Um, it needs to go on this shelf. And then I just have a lot of books, like, out of order that needs to be in order and then books in the back row that need to be moved to the front row. I think the only shelf that's actually organized, I think, is this shelf <laughs> minus the stuff in front of it. And so, yeah, we're, we're going to start um, and I'm going to speed up this part. Again, this is me just organizing this shelf. I'll come in and out, show you guys, and then I'll do like a final overview. And then in part two on a different day, because I ain't doing it today, we'll tackle this shelf. Um, so let me get into it.
Hey guys, so I did this in one video <laughs> because when I got to the biblical fiction section, I had to move things around from this shelf because I have biblical fiction a little bit in the back. And then I realized at the bottom of this shelf, I had some of my black authors I needed to go on this shelf. So I just did everything in one video. So you got bits and pieces in one video. Um, I really only ate the Earl Grey grapefruit biscuit, which is pretty darn delicious. And I finished my um, mango soda. Um, I don't even know what company it's from, but I picked these up either from H Mart or from um, Five Below. They have them when you go to check out. They have the little Asian snacks. It should be there or in the uh, drink section, but um, these are delicious. But I finished both of these. I have not snacked on any of my cookies yet and I did not finish my coffee but it's fine um, I'm glad I got everything organized the way I would like it to be um and things like that but I am gonna open a cookie real quick and um here's what it looks like it reminds me of those cookies I used to get back in the day from my grandma the um, nasty cookies but they had the strawberry center but these are so much better because a whole cookie tastes like strawberry and then the center is a nice um consistency which i love and they're not hard at all so good they're not soft but they're not hard but we're finished i'm so excited i did not put these back on the shelf as of yet because i don't know i'm gonna stick them here for now yeah, so I realized my book bookshelf is um, bending badly. As you can see, it used to be flush here. Now it's leaning. That's why there's a gap. And then there was um, a pack of Uno cards. I don't know if I, if I recorded that part. But um, this pack of Uno cards was stuck in there. So yeah, I am going to have to wash my hands immediately after this. I have not touched my face yet, but I want to. But um yeah i'm going to walk you guys through it won't be like a full-on book tour because that would take time to go book by book i personally don't really care for the book by like i like watching them but i don't care for them i like watching them just to see what books i like own from those particular people if you guys want a book by book tour of the shelf just let me know um post this emoji down below and depending on how many I get or how many likes on this video I get I will do that um but it will be in sections so it'll be like row by row that I go through because I have my books are double stacked and then they go up triple <laughs> so I have like three rows of books okay on each shelf these shelves are from Walmart they're the Walmart black ones um these are larger than the ones that Walmart are selling now I don't I recommend them but if you have a very large collection like myself of books uh, don't get these because they will eventually bend, bow, and break. Um, I mean, you know, they're cheap and expensive. I think they're no more than $30, $35. Um, I really do want Billy bookshelves when I move. However, I'm probably just gonna go to like a Home Depot or something and get me some wood, paint it, and stick it to the wall, and then put my bookshelves because I want thick shelves. Um, these are a little thin, and I do, like I said, stack my books kind of crazy, but. I'm gonna take the camera, turn it around, show you guys my shelves, and then we are going to be done with this video. Okay, so here's the first row, how it's looking. Don't mind the floor, I gotta sweep it. My son got Lego pieces all over the place, but that's the first one. The second one going up. That is in the box for my one of my laptops that I had, but um, it goes all the way up. And up top, I just have like games and stuff that I keep from my house. These are my house games, and then if I'm not mistaken, those are the games for church. I just keep them here and then little um, cards and stuff if I send like packages and stuff out. But um, this first row, so in the back, back there from like this book down are resources. This is obviously the membership study we're doing, which is coming. Um, and then I have like some finance and leadership books there. Um, these are the TBR books I want to get into next as well as the Bible studies I'm currently in. Um, so you guys can see just a few of the books. I will probably have a video coming soon of like the, I guess, 10 or 15 or so books I want to read. Then my TBR there. Um, 
this shelf has all of the non-fiction Christian fiction books that I want to read. So it's two rows. As you can see, there is a row in the back. I put my Israel book here because it's really, really big. It won't stand up. But um, yeah, these are the devotionals and books I want to get into. Purposely from this point on, I organize them in a specific way. So these are from Charles Allswindle. These are my A.W. Tozer, my C.S. Lewis, my Thomas A. Kemp, my Blackaby books, and then my Neil T. Neil T. Anderson. Um, these are the same book but this is the original version this is the newer version that came out so we have that this row is biblical fiction of course i had to organize by when they came out so tessa afshar into connie lynn cassette into misu andros um then i have some of like my favorites so my francine rivers i love redeeming love it is not biblical but i do put it on my biblical fiction shelf um it is pretty much a historical retelling of the story of hosea and gomer I am a part of the bandwagon that thinks it's an amazing book, but do beware. I also did a movie vlog review of the movie. It's a little iffy, but um, yeah, we have A Voice of the Wind. I do not have the rest of the series, but when I do, it will go on the shelf. Lloyd C. Douglas is the rope, by far one of my favorite, favorite. Um, I don't think it's classified as Christian. It's more so historical fiction about um, Jesus, but oh my God, I love this book so much. And if you guys don't believe me, I gotta reread this actually. I need to. But um more books in the back. I have like my Angela Hunts in the back, my Jill Eileen, my Lynn Austins, those are in the back. Um this series here, the trilogy from Linda Ferguson, absolutely by far my favorite one that touches my heart. Similar to why I love the Redeeming Love. This one has to do with um dancing, obviously, which I mean you would know, but it has to do with dancing and um also, you know, rape. Love that book. More books over there in the corner, but um yeah, and then more Misu Andrews here. Rain is the first book of The Whispers on the Wind. I actually do have the second book as an ebook, which I need to read ASAP. Um, I'm late on reading that one again. I'm late on reading a lot of books. But um, this one is on Elijah when he was going head to head with um, Jezebel. So love that book. Um, this book and this book are great books when it comes to reading on Jezebel. Oh my gosh, so good. But um, that is biblical fiction there. Remaining biblical fiction books I have, a not a flat art go from here to I think maybe here. But it's not a lot. I have my Barbara and Britton books here. I have my Genevieve Mowry. I do need to get the sequel to this book. Um, I think I have like two others that I can't remember. My heart covers here, more Francine Rivers there, but those are there. Um, hopefully you guys heard me. I think I was covering up the mic. Uh, all of my fantasies that are Christian related, so... I don't think I even organized this. I think I just threw these books up here. Honestly, I forgot to organize this shelf. This is what it's looking like now. I am going to organize it after. Actually, let me organize it right now. Haha, <laughs> I lied. Um, it is organized. <laughs> I forgot that I have my entire series for um, the Left Behind back here. So it is kind of organized without being organized because of the way the series is. There are some taller hardcovers and some smaller ones. So yeah. Um, the, what is this? I don't even know chronicles of brother chronicles brothers i don't even know what it's called but the wendy alex series um i enjoyed the first book can't wait to read the second book tosca lee's demon one of my favorites oh my god this is really not a fantasy honestly um this i think is more of a thriller i put it in the fantasy section just because i love it so much so we're just gonna leave it there and then i have these here in the front um my little mini paperback mass market paperbacks of frank e peretti and ted decker we love those and then more books here um i red house it is absolutely insane loved this book love me some morgan l Bussey. i prefer the ravenwood saga versus the skyward sky world but i am looking forward to her next um series this fantasy all about um vikings I also love the Tales of Fay Raven. I have read the entire series, but I only have books one and three. I don't know why they are not in order, whatever. Um, yeah, these are just, you know, my fantasies. This is a sci-fi. Love this book so much. Oh my god, American Omens. The greatest uh, sci-fi ever. I want to definitely start the Bright Empire series as well, but I need to get books two, three, and five. Um, and of course, some of my... Emily Dickerson. I said Emily Dickerson. Oh my god. Melanie Dickerson's and Ted Decker's. Um, down here is just a remainder of like other non-fiction books, mainly devotionals um, that I have. It, it goes all the way back and they're stacked up high with the little small books. But I'm um, moving forward. Down here are all of my children's babies. Um, faith based books. So yeah, I do pull these out every now and then to read with my son or my nephew. 
moving up we have mainly um from here this book here to she prays i've read all of these um so those are all read and then i have some other non-fiction books that i need to read in mini devotionals there and then up top here that's stacked on top i have i think these are mainly romance books um so susan may warren uh we have some by tammy l gray some becky way judy judy hetlon and then liz johnson the barbara and britain one i enjoyed and then these two are like like regular fiction books i guess you would say um so that's that moving here we have my thriller suspense section with more of my contemporaries and um my romances <laughs> sorry so yeah we have nancy mail in the front um i had lost this book in this room and could not find it for the longest and had to find it and didn't realize it was on the floor so yeah we have that um we have jamie joe bright i am missing i believe two books two or three books she has the vanishing at castle moreau and i believe there are two other books that she has so i'm either missing two or three books i need to go here my james r hannibal books thread gill books um then we have carrie stewart parks back here and you're probably not going to be able to see the rest but they go all the way back starting here um no starting here is where my like romances are and um these are contemporaries right here those are contemporaries these are my small uh mass market romances from the love inspired series and then we have terry ferris and nicole dc i do need to pick up two or three more books from terry ferris um because i've only read book one and i think i read book three but i need to get book two one of my favorite romances is the restoring heritage um series and then nicole dc moore is back there plus that one then we go into my black authors and biblical fictions like i said are in the back i'm not gonna go through those biblical fictions and then we have some more black authors in the back that i don't feel like reading um minus these two here let me actually move these over because actually these are my um pastor's books my apostle um wrote three books she wrote these two plus there's another one over there but um this i've read so books behind this are the ones that i've read including these two um in this devotional but then these are from the authors that i have not read from minus my fiction books i've read all four of these uh these are the four fiction books that i have by black authors we all know tony charlo um we love her we love her we, we, we love okay um start praying by ray s i can't never pronounce her name right but i love that and the arcade and the triple t coin by um what is this man's name he was a uh, rashad jennings i think he was on the nfl or something like that um and then i have like the books that i want to read and then the smaller books i have read some of um michelle mcclain walter's books but i need to get back i think i've only read esther and ruth i need to obviously read sarah reservoir anna and hannah but um yeah we have tony evans on here we have jackie hill perry on here um we have grace you should all know her she is known jamie grace um crystal evans hurst we have uh sarah jakes tamla man and david man juanita bynum oh william shalders i actually need to fix this oh, fix this name i made an error but i do know him he's a apost apostle that my church uh con congregates with is that the word um but i accidentally spelled his name wrong on the flyer i need to go fix that now um priscilla shire anthony evans um td jakes those are all there um and then finally up here is where i have all of my historical fictions i have them organized in a precise way so in the back i have mainly my uh books that are like just you know standalones and then some series in the back um that i, I want to read but not really care for but i make sure to keep all the books in the front are like either my favorite authors or books that i definitely want to read same thing with this i have some of these uh you know standalones here that i really want to read and then some of the series this is absolutely one of my favorite series i love book one and three we just pretend that book two does not exist um <laughs> i also love the uh here here burns my candle or whatever the series is by liz curtis hicks love that it's a retelling um and i also read these two books i don't have book three but i've read it so yeah that's how that's organized so bookshelf done it is done we've shared it in one video again if you want to see books you know literally by book um let me know i can do that but yeah let me just actually move this because it's not fantasy but it's so good i'm gonna put it over here with my thrillers there we go because it just made me feel out of place just now. But that is my bookshelf, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And...
yeah let me flip this camera back around so yeah that is it um it is currently basically seven o'clock it's 6 59 seven o'clock um i have my prophetic intercession class tonight at 11 it is 4 p it's actually 4 a.m um the uk time but 4 a.m would be 11 p.m for me typically my class would have started already but um it starts at 11 today um so yeah i'm excited for that and i'm gonna try to link up with my prayer partner because we actually were assigned prayer partners so i'm gonna try to link up with her before class so we can get our prayer in before class begins but um yeah this tuesday and thursday um we actually have classes at 11 p.m eastern standard time before 4 a.m uk time but um yeah that is it if you made it to the end of this video post this emoji so that i know you watched to the end and like i said if you want to um see a shelf by shelf tour of what's exactly on my bookshelf let me know um and i'll catch you all in the next video bye